Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. I've got a couple of things I got to do with our tree monitors, the wild caught ones, right? Not little blue. Um, I just want to deworm them. They've been with us for a while now. Uh, they're doing great. They're established eating. They're getting a little bit more used to us. <clears throat> Caleb's been working hard on handling the black trees. I've not done as much of that with the blue trees that we got, but I need to weigh them so that I can get the exact right dosage for the panicure that we're going to give them to deworm. So I'm going to take them out one at a time, weigh them, and then probably tomorrow uh, I will tong feed them each a pinky mouse that has been pre-medicated with the panicure. I think that's the easiest way. If I have to, you know, restrict them and put the thing down their throat and squirt it in, they're not going to like that at all. But I've been working hard with the blue trees to get them used to tongue feeding. They'll take insects off the tongs, they'll take uh, pinkies off the tongs. So that's great. I think that'll be the easiest way to get them the medication. And just for you guys' information, not all medications can be given that way. Panicure is meant to be ingested, right? It's supposed to be given orally. So that's, this will work great for this particular medicine, but don't just <laughs> assume you can always give your animals medicine this way. But for these guys, it'll work great. So I'm going to get out, um, I'm not sure which one first, whichever one I can most easily grab first, and we'll weigh them, and then we'll write them down, and um, we'll kind of attach this video to the one where I'm giving them the medicated mouse so that it can all be kind of one continuous piece. So here we go. All right, this is the female. This is Evelette. Hi, Evelette. She was not happy to be grabbed. I don't blame her. I'm sweating, as you can see. She, well, they're fast. Look how much better her body condition looks, guys, after just a couple weeks of proper hydration, lots and lots of food. She looks really, really spectacular. Well, she also looks really stressed. She's not pleased about this, that's for sure. You see how she's puffing her neck there, guys? That That's one of their distress signs. She's really not comfortable. She's not bad, though. No, no, she's, she's not, not awful, but bad. she's definitely... Not at her happiest. Okay, so the the scale's behind you there. Mm -hmm. Can you take the lid off? Sure. Just take it off the scale. Alright guys, this is the male, Delay. He is even less thrilled to be handled. But we gotta weigh them. We don't want to get the dosage wrong. The Panicure is it's the best dewormer that there is. It's super, super, super safe. Um, in fact, you know... The breeder that we got these guys from, actually, long story. So another breeder, a really, really good breeder who we got Little Blue from, he actually suggested don't even deworm them. He just was like, you know, let them, if they're healthy and well hydrated and not too stressed, they will deal with their own um, parasites. And that is probably very true. He's, he's had tons of wild caught animals live long, healthy lives in his collection. However, we have in the same room a bunch of reptiles that are captive bred um, and they have never been exposed to parasites from the wild so I just I wanted to deworm these guys uh, we talked about this before how we don't have a, a quarantine room right now which is not ideal so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and deworm them um, we're gonna use something that's super super safe and yeah, so, but that's kind of what our thinking is. Um, you know, there's there's two lines of thinking, and normally I would totally be fine with that, but I just don't want to risk um, passing parasites on to some of our animals that might not deal with them nearly as well, if that makes sense. So, oh, don't hurt your little toes, buddy. All right, Liz, can you grab another uh, tub? Yes. To weigh him? Alright guys, I'm ready to feed these medicated mice to our blue tree monitors, Avalette and Delay. I've got 0.07, let me show you here the mice. I've got 0.07 mils of Panicure in this mouse, 0.09 mils in this mouse. My needle was not sufficient, so I ended up just making a small cut in their bellies and injecting it into their bellies. Um, I think this will work. Let's give it a try. Let me figure out a way to set up the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Um, hopefully this works. 
Give me just a sec. Okay, I couldn't figure out a good way to do it, so I'm just gonna try and hold the camera. Don't know if this is gonna work or not. Here goes nothing. There's delay right here. So he's gotta 